This is Classic FM. Hello and welcome to the Classic FM rooftop with me, Jamie Crick, and joining me is Tim Storms, who today has been announced as the Guinness World Record holder for the lowest male voice. Is that right? Actually, I uh, reclaimed my record. Right. Somebody broke it back in 2010. So, so when we when we say deep, how deep is it? Uh, well, if you were to give it a musical value, a musical note, it would be G minus seven, and uh, in frequency, that's point one eight nine hertz. So you lost it, and then you had to reclaim it. So how do you how do you train your voice to be even lower? Do you do you like uh, drink a bottle of whiskey every day? I stay away from that stuff. <laughs> Some bass singers like it, but but uh, no, I uh, uh, as long as I keep my asthma in check, uh, I'm good to go. I'm just the older I get, the lower I get. So. Has your voice always been this low, or has it deepened over time, developed over time? It's developed in a way, just because uh, as a male gets older, their voice naturally gets lower, uh, mine a little bit more than normal. Uh, it was always low, uh, never went through that adolescent voice changing phase. Right. I'm talking to you now, your voice is a kind of a low rumble, it's amazing, and I wonder when you're out and about and you're buying, say, fuel or something, do people actually say, my goodness, your voice is really low? <laughs> it's, I, I don't get a lot of reaction out of it out in, out in the public, but um, uh, I'm in a show in Branson, Missouri, and, and um, people come up to me all the time. Now, you won a competition called Bass Hunter. What was that about? Well, Decca Records and uh, Paul Mueller, uh, they put out a search for a low bass singer that could sing uh, low E. That's the fifth note up from the bottom of the piano. Uh, Paul Mueller uh, composed a piece uh, called De Profundis, and uh, it's based on Psalm 130. And uh, he wrote a low E in this, which from what I understand is the, the lowest note composed for a classical piece or for a choir piece. So I guess the record company said, thanks for that, and now we have to find a singer who can do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they put on a search uh, online. I actually heard about it from a friend. And uh, he's like, man, you ought to do this. And uh, so I checked it out and I, I submitted a demo online. And uh, uh, the deadline came and went. So I thought, oh, I didn't get it. That's, you know, it's a worldwide search. There's gotta be somebody much better than I am out there. And um, uh, so I, I called anyway, just to find out. And uh, they said, well, you're still in the running. I was like, oh, okay. And they wanted me to submit a video demo. And uh, so I did that and I just sang a descending scale and uh, made sure I sang that low E really well. So they, that's because that's the one that's they wanted. The one they want. And then I went a couple octaves lower than that. And uh, they called me, I think a day or two later and offered me the part. Now you're singing on a new album called Tranquility from Decca, and there's a particular piece you perform. What's it like? Oh man, it's as far as the piece De Profundis, it's uh, a Russian choir, the St. Petersburg Chamber Choir, and uh, they're singing in Latin, and I'm singing in English. And the piece begins with the choir building part by part until it's just this big wall of sound. Uh, in fact, when I first met them, uh, I walked into their rehearsal room just as they were starting that piece and I instantly got chills. Just beautiful, beautiful sound. Um, and that's, you can say the same for the rest of the album. The rest of the album is, uh, I only sing on one other song on the album. Uh, and the rest of the album is the St. Petersburg Chamber Choir. And man, they have some amazing pieces on that. It's really good. So Tranquility is a good name for it. It is. It's very fitting. Yeah. This is the first time you've sung classical music. You've not always done that, but but now would you do it again? Definitely. I, I would definitely do more more classical. Um, I've I've never I've always had an appreciation for classical music, but I've never been an active listener. Um, and then I I heard the St. Petersburg Cham Chamber Choir and got to sing with them, and it just completely changed the way I the way I view it, the way I feel about it. Apart from singing, listening to your voice, are you ever tempted to appear on those voiceovers for films? 
Actually, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. well, you can do that. <laughs> I, I love doing voiceover work. I, yeah. I would love to, to do uh, uh, movie trailers and whatnot, yeah. Well, Tim, it's really nice to meet you. Thanks very much for coming and talking to us. And congratulations on the new world record. How does anyone beat you now? They don't. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Tim Phillips, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.